Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install Windows 10 onto a gateway computer. To do this operation, I'm gonna be using an install media USB that I created for myself for free. If you wanna see how to do that, there'll be a video link above. I'll also have it below in the description to show you how you can make that yourself. If you cannot make it for whatever reason, you'll have to purchase it. I'll also have a link below in the description to my Amazon store. It'll show you some examples of the correct item to get. Remember, you want install media, not recovery media, if you're gonna go purchase it. Okay, so let's get started. Power down your computer, make sure it's off, and I'll show you how to start the install process. So we're gonna first take our Windows 10 USB. We're gonna plug it into the USB port. And then we're gonna hit our power button and immediately start tapping on the delete key. That will take us into our BIOS menu. So not every gateway will have the same version of BIOS. There are many different versions. So you may have to navigate around or search for the options I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna arrow over to my boot tab using my arrow keys. You may have to use your mouse, you may have to use your tab or your enter keys. There are different ways of navigating BIOS. If you guys cannot figure out how to navigate BIOS, your mouse isn't working, your keyboard doesn't seem to be working, try using an external USB mouse or an external USB keyboard. Sometimes that will work in BIOS. In my BIOS, the way that it works is I'm gonna arrow down to my first boot option, which in this case is my hard disk. I'm gonna hit enter. And now instead of my hard disk in the first place boot option, I want my USB. So I'll arrow down to my USB and I'll hit enter. Now that's put my USB as the first boot option. Again, depending on your version of BIOS, you may have a different way to accomplish the same thing. Sometimes you would simply select your USB and it would continue booting from there. You may not have to move it to the first place, but some of you will have to do this. So if you need help figuring out how your specific BIOS does it, let me know. But again, it's usually moving it into the first place or simply selecting it and continuing. So now that I have my USB in my boot option number one, my key says F4, save and exit. And I know from past experience with this computer, I have to hit the function key and F4, and that will access save and exit. Some of you, again, you may just have to hit F4, but again, all BIOS are, are gonna be different. You have to learn your BIOS. So save configuration and exit, I'll hit yes. Now the computer will continue booting, but from the USB. Now this is your first window during the install process, so it has started. We just have to navigate these options. So depending on where you are or what you wanna do, your options may not be the same as mine, but I'll guide you through these steps so you see what I'm doing. So right here it said it as English and US, that's what I want. Apparently I didn't have the use of my trackpad, so I had to plug in an external USB mouse, as you can see here. So now I can move around with my mouse, I'm gonna hit next. And then install now is my next option. And there it goes. These are the terms and conditions. I'm gonna hit accept and hit next. This is one of those options where you may differ. I'm getting this computer ready for resale. So I'm gonna do custom only. That will allow me to delete everything on it. This one up here, install windows and keep files, settings and applications. Some of you may want to do that if you have data or files on there that you wanna save. So again, figure out what you wanna do, choose the correct option. I'm gonna go with this one, advanced, and I'm gonna delete all of these partitions because I want all the data gone. So I'm gonna click on a partition, hit delete. Click on another partition, hit delete, confirm. Delete, confirm, delete, confirm. Once I've deleted all the partitions, all the recovery points, if you have them, I'm left with unallocated space, which is what I want for a clean install with no data saved. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's selected because that's where I want to install Windows. And I'm gonna hit next. And there it goes. So now it says restarting, I'm gonna remove my USB so that when the computer restarts, it's not booting from my USB again. Because remember, my USB was selected to first on that boot list. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. 
A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. So some of you may hear that automated Cortana talking to guide you through the install process. I just went down here to mute her, but this is gonna happen now. It's gonna guide you through the finishing of the install process. So here are some more options we have to choose. United States, I'm gonna hit yes. I'm gonna confirm keyboard layout, US. I'm gonna decline adding a second layout, I'm, I'm gonna skip. Now it's gonna give us an option to connect to a network or not, to connect to a Wi-Fi network, or to proceed without Wi-Fi. Generally speaking, when you do connect to Wi-Fi, it's going to require that you sign in with your Outlook account or, or your Microsoft account. Um, if you want to do that, then fine. Sign into your Wi-Fi and proceed. If you don't wanna sign into your Outlook or your Microsoft account, then you're better off hitting I don't have internet down on the bottom left, which is what I'm gonna do. It's gonna ask you to verify, and I'm gonna hit yes, continue with limited setup. I don't wanna sign into Wi-Fi. Who's gonna use this PC? I'm just gonna name it Gateway. Hit enter. Uh, create a password. This is where you can create your password. I'm gonna skip this part. Again, I'm getting this ready for resale. I'm just gonna hit next to skip the password part. Choose privacy settings. You guys can read through these. Um, keep the ones you want, decline the ones you don't want. I'm just gonna go through and decline them all and hit accept. I'm not gonna choose to enact this option. I'm gonna hit not now, but again, read through, see what you wanna do. And after a successful install, you'll see this. You'll be at your desktop on your Windows 10 computer. Okay, so that's the end of the process. The install is complete. The last thing I'll shout out is it's a good idea to run all your updates after an install of Windows 10. This is a brand new operating system. You could use some driver updates, security updates, um, system updates. So there'll be a video link up top, also below in the description, showing you how to process all your updates right away. If you don't wanna run the updates right now, it's not a huge deal. Just keep in mind that your computer may be running them in the background for quite a while. So you may see your computer's a little slow. I just always prefer running them right away to get it over with. But that was the install video for Windows 10 on a Gateway computer. If you have any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. If you want to support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this. For those of you who would like to support the channel a little further, there's a couple different ways you can do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Thanks so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.